Hi. Long time no see. Okay, I need to put this with like decent lighting. My room has terrible lighting. So, I really can't tell if this lighting is decent. So, I know it, it's been a long time since I've made a video. Can we please not talk about it, okay? I'm inconsistent, I'm lazy, I literally just have no motivation to do YouTube. I literally get so many people asking me, like, where's the new YouTube video? People comment it on my Instagram pictures, people DM me, email me, comment it all the time, tell me in real life. Thank you, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Like, I need people to be on me about it, otherwise I won't do it. Actually, I still don't do it, but it makes me feel bad that I don't do it. And I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. I literally don't know what's wrong with me. I just cannot make videos. I was on my TikTok live talking about it with some people. Basically, I think the problem is that I doubt my content. I'm just like, this is boring. Nobody wants to see this. Like, I just feel like it's not interesting. But then people are like, no, it's interesting. Like, please post. Like, we will watch you eat cereal. Like, we don't even care. Like, just, just post and we'll watch it. And then I'm like, no. No, you won't. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've just been really inconsistent with YouTube. Um, oh, I didn't even explain the job thing. I got a job. I got a job. Are you guys, are you guys happy? Are you guys proud? It's actually super funny because I was editing this video and I got fired today. Literally tried to clock in this morning and they fired me. So. I'm unemployed again. Real quick, if you're new here, if you just don't know because everything's all over the place and you never know with me, honestly. For those who don't know, this is Tiana's quarantine job history. So I worked at the Humane Society for a month and then COVID happened, lost my job. Then I got a job at a dispensary, was there for two weeks, hated it, then I quit. I got hired at a canvassing place halfway through the middle of my third day. I was like, yeah, I can't do this. Like, I have to quit. And I literally just quit and left because I couldn't even be there for eight hours. And then I got a job at a ramen bar and I went, I did the orientation, I filled out all the paperwork and they're like, yeah, so you just have to like wear this certain uniform. And then I lost my wallet that day. It, it turned out to be in my room the whole time too. Like, oh my God. Then I couldn't buy the uniform. I got ghosted by the job because it had been a week and I still didn't have the uniform. But I was technically hired, but I just didn't start. I just did orientation. That was the last one I had. And then I was like, you know what? I need a job. I'm sick of this. Like, just I'll just work at Costco, I guess, because my roommate works at Costco and he's like, I, he's been saying like, I can get you a job at Costco. And I was like, nah, I don't really want to work there. And then I ended up just having to work there. So now I work at Costco. And now they're cutting our hours too. Like literally my roommate Christian worked literally so consistently, 40 hours a week, eight hour days, he never came home early, like always getting a good paycheck. And then as soon as I got hired, they changed everyone's hours to five hours. So now we work 25 hours a week instead of 40 hours a week. And now we can't pay our rent. So we're gonna get evicted check. I, I got a job, that's the first step. Basically the, the YouTube thing, I really, 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 really just wanna make YouTube videos so I don't have to work at Costco forever because I can't, I cannot, I cannot work a 9 to 5 but in the meantime I have to work and hate my life every day but I'm hoping that if I be more consistent on YouTube I think I just need to get back into it because I think I had a really big like creative block and I just was doubting my videos and stuff and that's why I didn't post but I need to start posting and I'm, I'm realizing it so I was having a talk with my roommate and he's like yeah you're self-destructive I was like what did he say? <laughs> And then I googled self-destructive meaning just to like further get some more information about it. And that called me out. Literally, I felt so attacked. Like everything it said about self-destructive behavior, I was like, wait, that's me. I'm like, wait. So yeah, I just realized that I am self-destructive and I need to get my life together. And I, I don't know, I didn't think I was, but then everything I do, my, my brain is very responsible. And so he's like, will tell me if I'm doing stuff wrong. He's like, don't you need to film a video? Don't you need to do that? And I'm like, yeah, but like, I just make random excuses and don't do anything. But that stops now. I, I need to get my life together. I'm getting my shit together. I am literally, I have to, I have to. I know I always say, I'm gonna post weekly videos. And then you know what happens? But anyways, sorry, I'm sick of this lot. I need to, let's move to a different location. That's my roommate. No, ugly. I'm being self-destructive. <laughs> You're being self-destructive? switching places. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other thing. So like, me and Christian swear, like, whenever I'm having a bad day, he's having a really good day. Whenever he's having a good day, I'm having a bad day. But yeah, now that I'm not self-destructive because I'm filming a YouTube video, he's depressed and wants to die. So yay! 
I just need good lighting. The issue with my room is that like this is the only light bulb I have. I just have the LED lights that aren't even like all the way. My roommate actually literally has a ring light I could use. <clears throat> oh my god, should I use the ring light? I should actually. Guys? We got a ring light! Ay! Thank god that both of my roommates have ring lights because then I never have to buy one. Okay, my couch looks so much cuter when it's orange. Maybe I should just take off the blanket because I put the blanket on there because my cat will not stop clawing it and ruining it. I literally manifested this orange couch because I said I wanted an orange love seat and literally I found this at the thrift store. Like what? And then someone had bought it too. And like you can wait 10 minutes though and if they don't come in, if they don't pick it up in 10 minutes, you could take it. I literally waited exactly 10 minutes and I was like, "Excuse me. It's been 10 minutes." And then I took it. So now I got it. Well, let me just take it in. Oh, my don't mind my roommate's synthetic wig. Um, why is it here? Oh, I haven't seen the couch in so long because I literally always have this blanket on it. My cat is being so cute right now. Oh my gosh. Look at how he's laying. So anyways, I'm going to get my life together right now on camera, straight up, and then after this, my life is just going to be perfect and everything's going to be wonderful. I think, okay, here's my issue. I think I don't plan things good enough. Like I plan, okay. So self-destructive behavior. Okay, you know what? I need my laptop. You know, I think if I enjoyed reading, it would be a lot. You know, I know why this isn't a... Uh, I forgot this ring light is really bright. Oh, and everyone always says I need Gary V in my life. Um, apparently he's like a life coach or something. I'm like, I've been told that multiple times. I don't think that's good. So I literally looked up self-destruction meaning. Literally I read it and Christian's like, that is you. That's literally, it says self-destructive behavior is when we cause ourselves unnecessary harm either by putting ourselves in harmful situations or keeping ourselves from helpful ones. It's when we act in a way that keeps us from living the life of peace, health, and happiness we deserve. What is the cause of self-destructive behavior? You might be more prone to behave in a self-destructive manner if you've experienced alcohol or drug use. I just turned 21? Okay, let me live. I don't think that's why. I'm not an alcoholic, I'm just kidding. Me with a big ass wine bottle. Okay, this isn't my, uh, I need to explain. This is not mine. I would never, I would never drink wine. Look at how big this thing is. Okay, uh, so basically, I, in college, I, I, this is another like organization thing. Okay, my mind is everywhere. In college, I used to do this thing where I would get post-it notes and write like things I need to do, like, oh, like, do this, do this, whatever. And then I'd get the post-it notes and put them like somewhere where I'll always see them. I would do all the things. It would make me feel good when I could like take them off my wall and rip them up. So I stopped doing that after college though. I don't know why, but it actually really, really helped me. And it sounds kind of stupid. Like it's just like stupid things that like I should already know, but I have such bad memory. Like I forget basic things and it's, it's like problematic. Like it's actually so annoying. I just write things on here just so I remember, like even if it's stupid stuff, like things, I'll just do it just to make me feel accomplished. I could take them off. Oh yeah. And a few weeks ago I got, I like just bought this composition book and I'm like, I'm going to get my life together. I'm going to be so organized. And I like wrote for literally a day. I wrote some goals, things that I want to do, like my days. And I put to-do lists. I didn't even literally, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Like the first day I wrote four things with like check boxes. And I only checked off one of them. December 3rd, I have like seven things and not a single one is checked off. And then the last day, I didn't even write anything. And then that's the end of that, never, never used it again. So that was stupid, but I think I need to use this again and start writing in it and actually like, like I just need a place to write all my thoughts, I think. I think I just need to be more organized because I don't know, like I feel like I'm organized, but wait, am I in focus? So I think I just need to get more organized again because I know I used to be organized and I think I've just been really slacking. I've just been lacking motivation and everything lately. I feel like not trying to like blame the pandemic because I feel like I am just making excuses, but low key, it's kind of COVID's fault. So yeah, I think I just need to get organized. Okay, Christian said, literally Christian's like my life coach, like I need I need a life coach. Oh yeah, the other thing. I'm so dumb. I was in the middle of reading you guys the, the five ways to stop self-destructive behaviors and then I forgot that I was reading the list and I started talking about other stuff and I literally for didn't even finish going down the list. The third one is get support. Therapy is for rich people and I will never be able to afford that so that's not an option. Use failure to learn. 
and prepare ahead of time. Yeah, I think time management is what I need to work on. I need to just make my schedule because I'll literally just like go to work and then I'll just do nothing all day and then I won't film videos. Christian also said I need to make like a list of like, I feel like this is basic life stuff that I just don't do. He was like, make a list of your goals. Like I have a list of my goals, but I don't have a, he was like, okay. And then you have to have a list of what you need to do to reach those goals. I was like, oh. I forgot about that part. So I have like a list of my goals and then I just need to make a list of like what I, I that's the that's the step that I missed. Kind of an important part to successfully reaching your goals is to like actually think about what you need to do to get there. I didn't do that. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Maybe I should film two videos today. Back on my YouTube grind I guess. Maybe. I think I need to formally apologize actually. I am so sorry for never being consistent and never posting. Like if I had a dollar for every time someone has told me, you would have way more subscribers if you posted consistently. Like if you just posted every week, like you would get a lot of subscribers. Like you could probably like be an influencer. And I'm just like, yeah, probably. Not gonna do it though, I don't know why. Like I said before, I just, apparently I'm self-destructive and I am unorganized and I, have really bad issues with committing to things. Like I'll, I'll say I'm gonna do something and then I don't do it. And oh, I hate that. I hate that. Ew. One of my worst personality traits. I think I've talked too much already. Um, I, I just kind of wanted to update you guys. Anyways, I'm just so sorry for being inconsistent and never posting on YouTube. But I'm gonna really try to be back because I love making videos and I, I've now I'm like analyzing my issues and I real. This is like my first time actually realizing that I am self destruct. I I do have self-destructive behavior and I don't even know it. Anyways, thank you for watching this video so much and thank you for subscribing and still being subscribed and still watching me. Please, I don't leave. I will, I promise I'm gonna post, like I'm gonna really try to post like every week. Also, I just feel like there, there's random things that like, I just feel like I haven't posted in so long that like nobody knows what's going on. So, got a job, I got a tattoo. I turned 21, I live in this apartment with my friends. Follow me on TikTok because I actually make TikToks and I don't advertise it. I have other social medias too if you wanna maybe follow them, maybe? But yeah, that's it. I think I've been talking for so long. Getting my life together, maybe gonna listen to some Gary V. I I don't know, um, probably not. I really think once I start posting consistently on YouTube, everything will just fall into place. Like I literally think that's just the root of my all my problems and I think once I'm like consistent I'll get back into like my creative grinds like I need to be on creative mode I'd be on lazy mode right now and it's not fun get me out of here I hate it here like I want to be creative and motivated again yeah thank you for watching I'll see you guys next week peace out goodbye